Hello, my name is Nathan Goodman, and I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Oklahoma. So I'm glad you're considering electrical and computer engineering, or ECE. One of the great things about ECE is the wide variety of technical areas involved. Not only do ECE majors design circuits, but they can also become experts in software, scientific modeling, antenna design and testing, semiconductor devices, algorithms for processing all kinds of signals, applications of artificial intelligence and machine learning, computer networks, computer architectures, digital communications such as cellular, radar medical imaging, and many, many other application areas. Hi, I'm Dr. Cliff Fitzmorris. You know, there's never been a better time to be an electrical or a computer engineer. I mean, we're surrounded by devices that either generate or store or process or transmit digital information. I'm Chad Davis, and I'm one of the ECE faculty members at OU. And one of the things I tell students um, that are in, that come into OU from high school is that don't just solely focus on things that, you're, that you know a lot about now. Find something new that you can learn that you're excited about. And that's what um, I would say that college is all about, coming to learn new things, not just build on what you already know. One of the great things about ECE here at OU is our great blend of laboratory and lecture classes. Uh, we have a wide variety of laboratory classes that go hand in hand, giving you that hands-on experience that goes with what you're learning in the classroom. We have courses that vary between more theoretical and more applied. Uh, and we also have courses that cover a broad breadth and depth of technical areas so you can find what you like and then learn more about it. We have uh, great student support systems such as peer mentoring and tutoring, support for women, minority, and first generation students, and we have direct faculty advising when you need that help selecting your next courses. For example, the local student chapter of Eta Kappa Nu, which is the International Honor Society of ECE's uh, main professionalist society, often offers a student-led voluntary review session prior to many midterm and final exams for our core ECE courses. So those students, the leaders in those that organization will talk to professors and get the material that's on the exam and some sample problems and then lead students through those in review sessions before the exams. This is just one way that students support each other here at OU. One of the things I like best about our program is our lab sequence. We've got five lab courses starting from the very beginning. How to put digital logic circuits into a breadboard and wire them together. You learn how to use an oscilloscope, waveform generator, logic analyzer, Learn how to program a microprocessor and hook up sensors and actuators to it, all the way up to our senior capstone program where you work on a real industry problem that needs to be solved. Uh, one example of these extra courses that you could take um, as an elective is the Measure and Automation Lab where I'm sitting now. Uh, you could do a lot of different um, data acquisition, sensors, uh, interfacing computers to different um, things uh, such as voltmeters, different pieces of hardware, uh, one example is this uh, bouncy toy here. It has a accelerometer strapped on the end of it that we have this instrument instrumented in so we can determine the exact um, equations of motion of that device. So this is something that is very critical in industry is knowing how to interface with the outside surroundings and getting that information into a computer. Uh, this class also has many other projects that are really cool, like uh, some audio processing projects, image processing stuff, where we uh, look at images with a, from a camera and analyze that. We also do high frequency uh, encoding and decoding, and also interface with the instruments using serial communication. Another reason I would recommend EC at OU is that it allows you to learn about so many different topics and gives you a general knowledge to work in many different areas. Uh, the area in which I teach and do research is in the area of solid state electronics. Solid state electronics is the uh, part of electrical and computer engineering that has given us computers, has given us smartphones, has given us communication technology. Many of the advances in medicine are occurring because of the development of new instrumentation, new sensor technologies. Uh, for example, my research group is, is actively working on developing a test for detecting cancer. What that means is that there are specific gas phase molecules that are uniquely associated with cancer. 
and it will have a transformational effect. Uh, and this is going to give you opportunities to, to work in research doing um, as an undergrad or a graduate. You can get your master's degree and continue on if you wanted to. But getting this uh, research experience is going to help you when you try to get a job. They're going to look at that as actual engineering experience and you're going to be able to uh, compete. And I would just say uh, when you graduate from college, um, you are competing with a lot of people from a lot of different schools. But if you get an EC degree at OU, um, it's going to get you, put you in a great position um, to do many um, interesting things and get many opportunities to do uh, exciting things that are going to make you kind of excited to get up and go to work each day. Finally, I'd like to talk about the pathways from undergraduate studies to graduate programs and research. OUEC has a large number of strong research programs with great opportunities. And while I don't want to shortchange the other area, research areas, I would like to comment briefly on the area I'm closest to, which is radar research at OU's Advanced Radar Research Center, or the ARC. We believe the ARC to be the largest, most complete academic research center focused on radar systems and related applications of applied electromagnetics. We currently have 20 faculty members in the ARC, all with active research programs looking to engage both undergraduate and graduate students. We have close professional contacts across the country at a variety of organizations, including different types like companies and government research labs. All of the ARC's ECE students receive plenty of job offers and can typically target where they want to go, uh, both the type of institution they want to go to and often the region of the country they'd like to go to. E ECE majors are in demand and will continue to be in demand for as long as I can imagine. There are huge opportunities for students who've participated in our lab, and the faculty here will support you in taking advantage of those opportunities. We strive to make sure that you've got the right skills that you'll need to give you a leg up in your professional career. So if you're thinking about becoming an electrical or computer engineer, I'd say do it. There's no better time than now. And if you're looking for a great place to study, I'd recommend the University of Oklahoma. We're gonna get you those hands-on practical skills that you're gonna need to have an exciting career in electrical or computer engineering.